guys welcome back to the channel while living watson's don't forget to hit that like share and subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you are alert every time we post a new video i am bringing you guys along with me today while we make ice cream we used to have a ice cream shop back in our hometown where we lived and right before covid we decided to pull away from it due to the location that we were renting from so now we are getting back in the swing of trying our old faithful flavors and trying out new flavors to relaunch our ice cream business. Right here, you are going to see me making today mermaid tails. Mermaid tails is one of our popular flavor ice creams that children gravitate to because it has sprinkles and bold colors and edible glitter. Here, I messed up. Oh! Whoa. It's not closed. Where's your cover? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. That's no, content. No. Yep. Epic fail. That's a blooper right there. <laughs> the CGST blooper, you missed it. All right, bro. <gasps> no, it's on. I got all of it. <laughs> So you guys I'm got to, to see the full action of sometimes we all make mistakes. I don't know how I missed that. Really don't know. I'm so big on telling Rico to make sure it's closed. Make sure the door is closed so the ice cream won't fall out. But I messed up this time, guys. I was still able to salvage some. I caught my mistake before it was too late. So we are going to make this ice cream and clean up our mess and <laughs> do some drumstick cones i wanted to try out a new uh product we always have done ice cream sandwiches but i wanted to try something different so here i am just taking our two separate colors they are both the same flavor both of them are a vanilla flavor mixed with uh, madagascar vanilla extract and vanilla powder to give it a bold flavor then we add some of our golden oreos sprinkles and edible glitter the oreos give it like a cake texture feel in the insides kind of like cookies and cream just golden cookies and cream um and then you have your sprinkles and your edible glitter yes you have edible glitter i used to um use edible glitter all the time in my frostings and cakes when i would decorate cakes and i found that it was just amazing to put it in ice cream the kids you know it just it blew their minds to think that they could eat glitter and I had to do a disclaimer to make sure that they only ate glitter when they would eat our ice cream or edible glitter to not go and buy a pack of glitter from, you know, the grocery store and try to eat glitter because that is not the same thing. OK, it is yes. not the same thing, son. It's not the same thing, okay? Yeah, huh? No. You could use the glitter thing. The no, glitter. it's not the same thing. Okay, back to our scheduled program. So... I used to do this a much easier way. What we would do was we had a separator for one of our big five gallon buckets for the ice cream. And what we would do was just have one color on one side and the other color on the other side. And then when we would scoop, it would be a mixture of hot pink, teal, and purple. But just to do, you know, in this container for home, I just swirled it together. Nothing major. Just wanted to make some of the ice creams for the kids so that we can try out some new products. After I put it in the freezer for a while, I decided to let's make the drumsticks. Let's try something new. Give the people something to talk about, you know. Um, again, this is for home only, this video. But I did make some to start selling for our company. By the way, our company is TGST Sweet Scoops. That is based off of our bakery name, which was Two Girls Sweet Treats. So here I am just going to pipe some of our white chocolate down in the bottom of the cones. So that way when your ice cream melts like a drumstick, you know, your ice cream doesn't come out the tip of the cone. So I just fill the bottom of the cones with the white chocolate. And then I filled them up with our Mermaid Tails ice cream. So this ice cream got the name Mermaid Tails because every time you think of a mermaid, you think of bold, beautiful colors and shiny scales and glistening, glittery 
bodies and scales. So that's why I named it Mermaid Tails. I thought it was catchy for the kids and children love this ice cream. When you eat this ice cream, sometimes the glitter residue stays on your lips and it's the color from the ice cream tints your lips a little bit. So it almost makes it look like you're wearing lip gloss. <laughs> so I had a lot of little girls that would come into the shop and always order Mermaid Tails. Mermaid Tails was definitely one of my favorite ice cream and is one of my favorite ice creams to make. So after I scooped all of the ice cream into the cone, I used to use a different scooper so it will be much easier for it to give that ball effect. Here I'm just having to pack it a little differently to make sure that it got into the comb and kept its shape. I did round it a little bit with um, my offset spatula to give it that round shape. But after you scoop it, you're going to, and this is just if you're wanting to make it, I'm telling you the instructions. But what I did was scooped it, put it in the freezer so that it can harden up. And then once it hardened up, I was able to work with it. And look at this one trying to come in and sneak. She didn't realize I was recording. Watch what she does next. Look at that little hand. No, uh -huh, I caught her. She said, where's the freezer? <laughs> <laughs> but it was for the house after my you see how I molded that I just took my ice cream out of the freezer after it hardened dipped it into the white chocolate mixture and I sprinkled those exact same sprinkles that I put inside of my ice cream on the outside and I added in some edible glitter to make it look like the out excuse me the inside of the ice cream I mean, did that not turn out cute or what? It is like drumstick 2.0, 5.0, the best thing that you'll ever see. And mind you, let me tell you, you ain't going to find this in any other grocery store. This is a TGST Sweet Scoops original. No. Do I bite it? It's going to make your teeth cold, though. Ah. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get a go. Wait, would that be the cake? No, you need ice cream. You want one? Oh, wee. <laughs> Every time I should have my hair out yet. Wee. Oh, oh, wee, bro. Everything. <laughs> I know it's crunchy. You know, the more I look at that ice cream that I broke, it's Like, it's just a crunch. Mm. What, what if the edible glitter tastes like strawberry? Yeah. No. Come on up. I'm not going to here, and I'm scared of nothing. Look at that, y'all. Just, just look at it. Admire the beauty. <gasps> oh, that beauty almost fell. <laughs> hey, see, you want one? <laughs> Get a paper towel. What's going to do for the black paint door? It's going to be like... Brain freeze. I yeeted it across the street. I don't know where it is now. Oh. Sorry. Look at those smiling faces. You can tell these children love their mother's ice cream. So now here you just see me packaging up the rest of them because you do want to make sure that they go into the freezer so that way the cone will not get stale. Excuse me, of course it's gonna go into the freezer. It's ice cream. But you wanna make sure that it's packaged otherwise the cone is going to go stale. And who wants a stale cone ice cream? I know I don't. So, of course, after making the kids their little drumsticks and testing out new products, I had to try our cocoa meal. Our cocoa meal ice cream is named after my aunt Camille, who is a diehard chocolate lover. She absolutely loves chocolate. The cocoa meal is a chocolate-based ice cream with 
a thick, chewy texture. Well, all of our ice cream has that thick, chewy texture. Because I like when you can take ice cream and you can bite it and have that chew to it. I love that. We have a custard-based ice cream. So, back to our cocoa meal. Our cocoa meal is a chocolate-based ice cream that has ch chocolate swirl, ganache, and brownie chunks and chocolate chunks throughout the ice cream. I only got the top of it, so it was only like a few pieces of chocolate in it. But guys, it's absolutely delicious. As you can see, I'm tasting it. When you taste ice cream to get the full effect, you want to push it to the roof of your mouth and make sure that you actually get a good taste of the ice cream. Chew it and make sure it's good, okay? Don't just, you know, lick the ice cream. It doesn't really do it justice. You have to press it to the roof of your mouth so that you can taste the product. And of course... You know, Rico is never going to let me have something without him getting a bite as well. So, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, tell your friends, and stay tuned because we are looking for a location so that we can start making our ice cream and shipping it out to you guys. We love you. Stay blessed. Remember to keep God first and love hard.